This is Akka Mahadevi, another lady saint. She was married to a king. She, at the age of nine, she was initiated by some unknown guru. This is the thing about bhakti movement, it broke all shackles, all ideas of what divine should be and should not be. Some related to the divine as their child, some as father, some as husband, some as wife, some as lover, in so many ways, some even call the divine as a servant. You could relate whichever way you wanted, no restrictions because it's only what is important is that you are able to relate. And without relating to something, your emotions will not rise. The whole thing is about to get a swell of your emotion to a certain pitch of sweetness and hold it there. If you stay in that pitch of sweetness, naturally life's perception will get so sensitive and become open to the possibility of experiencing what is real. So, when some of the poetry is a method to work themselves up, some of the poetry is an expression of the realization. When one heart touches and feels another, won't feeling weigh over all? Can it stand any decencies then? Oh mother, you must be crazy, I fell for my lord, white as jasmine. I have given in utterly, go, go, I will have nothing of your mother and daughter stuff, you go now. So when this young woman leave, walks out of her husband's house, because he referred to her and said, everything that you're wearing, your jewels, this palace in which you're living, the clothes that you wear is mine. She said, I don't want to have anything of yours and she shed everything and walked out naked. Her mother going and pleading with her, come to your senses, come back to the norms of the society. So she's saying, oh mother, I will have nothing of this mother and daughter stuff, you go now because I've been smitten by Shiva.